today we will be interviewing some people to see what their thoughts are about peer pressure today at the Grove. Okay. If a friend told you drawing graffiti was cool, would you have done it when you were in middle school? Why or why not? Drawing graffiti? Uh, no, I wouldn't have done it. Because you'd get in trouble, for one. Uh, and I was a bit scared about that. Um, I was never very good at art, so I wanted to be able to draw very good graffiti, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, no, I just want to listen. Okay, and what are some ways to avoid or overcome peer pressure? Um, knowing what you think yourself and making sure that every time somebody says something, if you know you can think different, reminding yourself that you can think different. Um, finding other people that think the same as you, like, if you don't think smoking is cool, other people you can find some other person that doesn't think that's good to you. You just find yourself nice friends. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Okay. If your friend told you drawing graffiti was cool, would you have done it when you were in middle school? Why or why not? Um, no, because my parents have to call me for a ticket. You know, and they'll show me that I could get a ticket for it. Yeah. And what are some ways to avoid or overcome peer pressure? Just say no. Just say no, and always when you know it's no, it's no. Would you ever do something wrong just to become popular? Why or why not? No, because I have always think that being popular is not always a good thing to do. Okay, would you ever do something wrong to become popular at school or something? When I was young, yes, I would have. Yes. Now that I'm older, though, I no, I would not. Okay. And what are some ways to overcome or avoid peer pressure? Uh, to get around other people with positive attitudes or get involved in positive events uh, that would lead you away from uh, situations that would put you, you know, that would, that would give you peer pressure to do the wrong thing. Okay, if a friend told you that drawing graffiti was cool, would you do it? I did do it. So, would I would I recommend doing it now? No. Once again, though, it's uh, those are those are hard hard lessons that I only know now. Thank you. Good. Yeah. If a friend told you drawing your feet was cool, would you have done it when you were in middle school? Why or why not? I wouldn't, because my friends wouldn't wouldn't say that. And uh, no, I don't think it's it's cool unless it's poetic or something yeah. of importance, not just you know. And what are some ways to avoid or overcome peer pressure? Um, it's just to keep keep to yourself and just you know be as, uh, as determined as you are with your own morals or whatever you think is correct, and not let others you know get in your way. And would you ever do something wrong just to become popular? Uh, no, I don't think I would. I think because it's. Um, <laughs> It's just dumb. In the end, you come out looking bad. bad and one more. Um, now that you are older than you were when you were a kid, um, what are some reasons why people shouldn't cooperate in peer pressure? Uh, I think people shouldn't go through peer pressure or shouldn't, shouldn't um, you know, be part and try and be part of the group just because it's... Uh, it's it's wrong. I mean, you have to keep to yourself and you know keep to your morals and be the best person you want to be, and uh, not not put up with people that are there to tell you otherwise. If a friend told you drawing graffiti was cool, would you have done it when you were in middle school? Why or why not? <laughs> um, hmm. it might have. It might have. Well, do you need to know why or why not? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, because um, I probably didn't even know as much as I did. Mm. And would you ever do something wrong just to become popular? Why or why not? Depends on how wrong. Um, probably not too bad. Just because I would be too scared of getting caught. <laughs> and what are some ways to avoid or overcome peer pressure? Um, you just have to make sure that you know 
what you want to do and what you don't want to do. Interesting. Talk to your parents. Yeah. yeah. And now that you are older than when you were a kid, um, uh -huh. why? What are some good reasons why you shouldn't um, cooperate with peer pressure? Things? Oh wow. Okay. Um, because pretty much what you do when you give into peer, peer pressure doesn't last as long as what you might get if you do the right thing. So, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Reading was cool. Would you have done it when you were in middle school? Why or why not? Um. No. Uh, mostly because my parents told me not to vandalize. <laughs> um, and because painting something up is, is a pretty big deal, it seems pretty permanent. <laughs> what are some ways to avoid or overcome peer pressure? Um, I think most of the time if, if you just act pretty cool and tell your friends, you know, oh no thanks, I think most people will back off. Um, just keep saying no, it's hard. <laughs> um, having a lot of sports sometimes I think, yes. helps avoid some peer pressure playing sports. And uh, would you ever do something wrong just to become popular? You know, I'd like to say no, but I don't know what I would have done in middle school. Now, no, but in middle school, maybe. And now that you're older, like, You'll be, you'll be thankful you didn't do all the things that you would have regretted. Um, I'm going to be a lawyer and you have to write down anything you've done that's bad. <laughs> so <laughs> it's better if you haven't done anything so you can uh, can really help you out later in life if you have a clean slate. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, would you ever do something wrong when like you're a kid to just become popular? No, actually, I never did. Why not? Um, because um, to have friends, people who want me to do something that I felt was wrong and still wanted me to do it, even though I didn't agree with it, I would consider them my friends. So I never did. And I knew my mom would kick my butt if she found out. So I didn't want to do that either. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Friend told you drawing graffiti was cool. Would you have done it when you were in middle school? Why or why not? Um, I wouldn't do it because I was always very aware of my surroundings and I never liked graffiti. I yeah, I think I, I, I went through that. I had friends that did that and I, I didn't go along with it because it just made everything look ugly. It, was, it wasn't art, it was just like putting their names in a way that you couldn't even read it. It made no sense. So I, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Yeah. What are some ways to avoid or overcome peer pressure? I'm sorry, once again. What are some ways to avoid or overcome peer pressure? Um, I think that peer pressure is is lacking your individuality. You know what I mean? Because if you if you're okay with what you want to do, if you want to take soccer lessons or ballet lessons, if you're sure of what you want to do and you're doing it from inside your heart then it doesn't matter what anybody says. It's when you lack your identity, you're trying to find it with somebody else. And there's always a leader. There's always one guy who's okay with his identity, who's leading the pack. Nobody else has their identity strong. So if you find that inside yourself, you'll, you know, you'll find your path in your way. That's a good way of avoiding it. I totally agree with him. And I was always a kind of a leader. So I never felt that, having that pressure of trying to follow somebody. So, so I she was crushing other people. people. No, I'm just <laughs> Okay. Um, would you ever do something wrong to become popular? No. I was already popular. <laughs> I mean, I've done anything wrong. No, never. No, no, no. That's so silly, you know? I get those No, no, nothing wrong. But then again, there's certain things that, that seem wrong and they're part of growing up also. And I'm not talking about strong things like uh, drugs or something against the law itself. But sometimes, and they may not like this, but sometimes when you're cutting class and you, you don't study for a test, those are things that everybody ends up, exp in the, ends up experiencing. And there's not really that much need to have that much guilt about it. It's an issue that, okay, you experienced it, you can move on and make sure you study, you graduate and all that. But, um, but to do something against the law or something like that, it makes no sense because the only people that end up losing is oneself. It's yourself, exactly. But you don't discover that until you age a little bit. So you realize that, that it's silly to do things out of the law because it just will bring you back bad consequences. Bad consequences. And the final question is, uh, now that, yeah, it's now that you're older and you have more wisdom, you know, mm -hmm. like, what can you tell us about peer pressure? Yeah, like why should why shouldn't kids now um, cooperate in peer pressure that's bad and stuff? Well, because of the 
the one thing that it that it, that it entails it, it's basically it basically is saying you're screaming out I don't have a personality if you give it to peer pressure you're, you're basically the one thing you're trying to do is to be counted as an individual but what you're really doing physically is you look like everybody else you get the same haircut exactly. you dress the same way you have the same watch and you do that and by doing that you end up looking not like an individual but like an army of rappers an army of skateboarders an army of whatever and you forget to bring in your personal touch everything that everybody wants to do you know because you may want to have a dragon on your skateboard because but that's not cool now or maybe because it is you don't like dragons but you put it on there anyways and you lose yourself in that and so um, I would say that you you have another option I go that way that way you'll be in touch with what you want to do always and it'll because trust us, I'm 30, I'm going to be 33 um, uh, in the summer, in July, and it doesn't get any easier. There's peer pressure at our level too, getting a better job, doing this, doing that, not spending enough time with my wife. Those are things that I still have to practice. So if you start um, early in life, it's something that you'll get used to, just being true to yourself. I wish at the scholar system also that that would teach you that also. That that'd be really good if they can incorporate that. Teaching you about life, right. that'd be really mm -hmm. really good. No, oh, just like stuff like this is stuff great. Like this is great. It's wonderful. Yeah, just um, be yourself. Don't let anybody put pressure on you. That's so silly. And you'll see when when you're older, you'll discover that. You'll discover that. The older you get, the more comfortable with your personality you are. And I, I wish that, you know, they would have told me that when I was younger, not to tell me that, no rush, it's okay, you know, it's going to get only better the older you get. So they always, this rush for being better at, I don't know what. Yep. So I wish that you can have a manual that says, hey, it's okay, calm down, it's just going to Have fun, yeah. have fun in life. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Oh, you're Thank very you very well. Hello. Today we're going to be asking people about peer pressure. <laughs> action. Satrack! Action. Stop whining, just action. Action. Oh, you're right,